And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Rave On! No, sorry. Welcome back to Let's Play Part, Planet of Death. When we last left off, we had not won a race. We had lost a race, but we were second and we are still leading overall. And I was reading out to you some text logs that provided the background story for this game. And I will actually start with reading out... No, I won't start with reading out a text log to you because you're probably not interested. We will dive instead head on to the next race. We could restart. But... As I think we are leaving, leading quite comfortably, so... Let us just try... Okay. Vaitland, that is actually something that we heard in the one of the previous text logs that I read out to you. Um, okay, let's try not not to lose this race. Okay. Usually it's just aha. Usually it is just um, the first to opponents of a race that seem to really pose a, pose a challenge, pose a threat. Um, I don't actually pay attention whether I, um, the strength of the AI is actually stays constant. I mean, when I... shit. Oh. Yeah, I didn't pay attention there. Okay. Oh, I did pay attention, but I was sort of confused. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, so they are very... There are enemies which have fixed names. Um, so, what I'm not quite sure... What I'm not quite sure is... Whether... An enemy corresponding to some fixed name actually... Has a certain level of AI strength. Or whether... Um, for every race... It's just randomly distributed, or rather, in fact, all opponents have the same AI, and it's really just that, um, yeah, that turns out to be a sort of ranking for every race, in spite of the fact that they all run at the same. Okay, that was stupid. Don't take this um, route next time. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, and st stop accelerating uh, when there are sharp corners. I've actually... Maybe I should actually start using the brakes. Um, that might be an option, actually. That might even make sense. Might make too much sense for me. Yeah, no. Probably... Okay, you may notice that I'm drunk, in fact. That explains why I am much more... Much more... Um, much more... Vocal, that's the word I was looking for. I'm much more... Shit! And I managed to insult myself inadvertently. But no matter. Shit. Okay, let's. Okay, at least. I, you sort of under. Ha! Okay. Okay, two more laps to go. Um you don't don't make the mistake of going that way. Um I was get confused. Okay, this Yeah, this has a um quite different shit shit. <sighs> like the fact how this this racing game has a lot, has a quite different pace from my normal, from the games that I normally play, like Sin or Kingpin or 
take no prisoners or what have you I'm really I'm deeply concentrated right now but I'm in fact I'm not thinking at all Yeah, I quite enjoy this game. I will be sad when this let's play will be over. I really like this game. Um, I have actually learned through the... Oops, some... Ugh, some glitches there. Okay. I've actually learned through the forum at God shit. Now it's really bugging out. I've actually learned through the forum at gog.com that and every time I want to say what I want to say the game is bugging out. Maybe the game just doesn't want me to say what I want to say. Okay, I will try to say it anyway. Namely, um, it has actually been possible now to upload videos at 16 frames per second um, to YouTube. Of course it has been possible before, but before YouTube would have just um, coded... Um, let me save here. This is LP number 7. Okay. Before you could have uploaded, of course, a video at 60 frames per second, but it would not have shown at 60 frames per second. Let us do another race before... Continue, yes. Um, so there's now the there, there is the possibility for me now to record this in 60 frames per second. However, I have decided I'm not quite decided yet, but I think I want to do that for the following reason, namely. Um, now this is confusing. Okay. I don't know where to go. For the following for the following reason, now it's getting really confusing. For the following reason, the I usually caught videos in batches of 3. So in gigabytes this would equivalent this would be equivalent at this resolution sorry, at this resolution to approximately 50 gigabytes that the lightly compressed um, video would take up or takes up on my hard drive. I record using Fraps with compression enabled but Fraps um, has only some light lossless compression so it doesn't do much. Okay so Three recording sessions already take up 50 gigabytes. Um, so if I was to record this as 60 frames per second, seconds, which would be the doubling the frame rate now, this would double the size of my recording. And unfortunately, I only have some 100 giga or less than 100 gigabytes. Actually, 90. At the moment, I think it's 85 gigabytes of free disk space available. So I cannot effectively um, both enhance, increase the frames per second and keep my normal recording schedule, not schedule, but um, recording habits. So I'll probably not do that. I'll just keep um, this setup. Maybe I will actually change the glide wrapper because it has been suggested that the new end glide wrapper version 1.04 um, is actually quite good and has some neat um, improvements in performance. On the other hand I, on the other hand I have heard that the Nglide wrapper does not is not as accurate as the DG Voodoo wrapper. So maybe I will switch out the wrapper. I haven't done that. I was sort of hesitating because the 
installer for the N-Glide wrapper just installs itself globally, um, which might lead to some um, problems if I keep the DG Ruby wrapper at the same time. And I don't think that will be such an issue, okay. But I will, okay, yes, I will probably not um, double the frame rate, even though it would be probably uh, nice for a racing game to have a 60 frames per second. Um, and this game, by the way, this game runs on my computer at 60 frames per second now. Um, yeah. Maybe I will think some, um, think of something, but probably it will stay at this. Um, it will stay. Yeah, I don't know. If something is something is weird here. Um. Ah, shit. And I got distracted for a moment, and then I lost my lead. Yes, I was wondering about the competition, um, and then the competition came. So, that's so much for wondering where the competition is. The competition is right there. It's right in your face. And now I'm right in your face. Okay, let us um, concentrate. Okay, I don't know how many tracks there are in the championship. There are 20, 32 tracks in total. Um, I don't know how many races tracks there are in the championship already now at um, I think this is the okay, I actually I think it's the eighth track could this could this be I think it's the eighth track that we are now racing and already it's the layout is getting much more in intricate um, and I have to be careful here. I have to be very, very careful. Uh, yeah, that was what I um, meant when I said don't make sudden movements with your controller. Uh, even though I guess that probably not just Um, it's not just something that can be said about racing games, but can be said about cars in general. Don't make sudden movements with your joystick or your wheel. By the way, joystick. I wonder the word the bomb. I wonder where the bomb. The bomb. I wonder. Why not many cars are controlled by a joystick, but instead still by a wheel? Probably because a wheel is much better than a joystick. And my time has just sounded. So I hope that I will actually beat this track soon, or otherwise I will go over time. I will probably go over time. Okay. No matter. I will definitely go over time again. But this shall not be our concern. Our concern shall be to win this race. And since we are already going over time, I will probably end this video by reading out to you. And I'm. Yes, I'm the first place. Uh, or maybe it will just make a cut here. Okay, so until next time, folks, until then.